Hi everyone and welcome to the last day of our Easter Arts and Crafts Challenge, Day 8. This challenge will take two days and what we're making today are salt dough Easter craft decorations. So you saw the duck there at the beginning. You can really make any shape of decoration with this craft. What you need is plain household flour and salt. Two cups of flour, a half a cup of salt. This is the cup I used, but you can use any size cup, bigger or smaller. This size cup gives you this much salt dough. Once you have the salt and the flour in the bowl, you just mix in some warm water until you get a really nice consistency and then your salt dough is ready. If you wanted to make Play-Doh with it and you didn't want to bake it, you could just add some poster paint to it now and mix it through and that would colour the salt dough. And that will keep in the fridge in a plastic bag for a good few days for reusing again if you wanted to use it just for playing with. Once you have your salt dough, roll it out flat to about the thickness of a rich tea or a digestive biscuit. And then using a sharp knife, for which you may need some adult supervision, you can cut out the shape you want for your decoration. I've made an Easter egg shape here. Now, on some of my decorations, I have lines to make it easy for painting. If you want them, you need to put them in now before you bake your shape. And then they will be there when it's baked. Then place your shape on your baking tray. So you can put them all the ones you cut out onto your baking tray on a piece of baking parchment. If you don't have any baking parchment, just cover your baking tray in flour and place them on that and that will work fine. And the most important thing to remember is because you want to be able to hang your decorations up. You need to put a hole in the top of your decoration before you bake it. If you don't put the hole in the top before you bake it, you won't be able to put the string through afterwards. When you have all your decorations on the tray, you put them in the oven at 100 degrees and you bake them for between an hour and a half to two hours, depending on the thickness of your shapes. You know they're cooked when they're hard. If they are taking too long to cook, you could just, and it's night time and you might be going to bed, you could turn the oven off and leave them in the oven till the next day. Then when they are completely cool, you take them out of the oven. They should be hard and dry. And then you can just paint them. So what I did was I painted all of the backs first. When the backs were dry, then I painted the front. I added some glitter to these ones. And really you can add anything you want to decorate them. If you have sequins or if you were making the little chicken and you wanted to add on some feathers, you could do that. It's really up to your own imagination. Now I know today is the last day of our challenge, but that's just the Easter tree challenge. As time goes on, we will do a few more arts and crafts for you. I hope you've had fun making your Easter tree. I've certainly had fun sharing it with you. See you all again soon. Bye.